Loremaster mm. RS, I think there might be an image for this one, says, could we see the implementation of silver jewelry that <coughs> uses semi-precious gems? Uh, basically, this would be using the opal, jade, and red topaz, which are currently not used. Opal. opal? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, everything's sort of said differently here. Whatever. So these things eat the gems as they go. I think They're it's... all the grid. Cool. Yeah. Um, there's one that's somewhat similar to a recoil, and it's like, they degrade like that, and to dust. And I really like this idea. I think there's, there is a lot of potential in there. So the essentially is, you would have silver alternatives to, to gold jewelry. This and jewelry is very gems. cheap, and so is silver, is my only concern. So, unless you make the spell value. really expensive. Something we've always wanted to do, really, in terms of rune sinks. And we might see the prices going up right. with this. Maybe just a, a lot of runes per each spell then. Cool. Um, oh look, the price of silver is going up. All right guys, here's the graph of the price of silver. Now, the stream that mentioned silver jewelry was somewhere in this grouping of dots right here. Look at the price. It literally plummeted down to 89 GP. Two reasons why I didn't immediately buy the silver. One, it was way too obvious that this is something that could go up or down in price. I mean, Mod Ash literally said, oh look, the price of silver is going up, whatever. But the second thing is that you gotta understand what's actually happening with the items going into game. It seemed like the price of silver could stay relatively cheap because the mods wanted to make the cost of enchanting the jewelry really high, as in make a big rune sink is what they said. Uh, which means that the jewelry would already be very expensive without the price of silver having to be expensive. So it seemed like a lot of people bought silver, kind of realized that, uh, or didn't see the price increase that they wanted immediately. They thought the price might skyrocket, and then they all started dumping the silver that they had just bought, leaving the price to just drop. That's my best guess as to why the price dropped. Now, anything could have affected it, but that's just the thing that makes most sense to me. So the price of silver crashed all the way down till 89 GP or so the graph said, but I was actually able to purchase 100,000 silver ore for 84 GP. So I was lucky enough to get my offer through at probably one of the lowest points. In fact, some of the silver actually bought for 75 GP each, but only a little bit less than 100. The rest were going for about 84 GP each. And now if we go back to the graph, you can see that the price of silver is going back up. It's already back at 94 GP. That's 10 GP profit times 100,000. I've already made a mil. I ended up selling the silver ore for 96 GP each. I waited on it a little bit too long and the prices started getting a little bit funky. Should have sold it for 98, but that's only a 200K loss. In total, I made 1.2 million GP off of about five minutes of work plus listening in on the old school runescape stream now i did also check the margins for silver or as you can see in the top two slots of my history and they're huge margins it's about 10 percent which is really high for old old school runescape you could actually make a lot of money right now flipping silver ore but probably not after this video so in fact if i had been a little bit more patient i could have probably sold my silver ore for about 100 gp and gotten more of like a 1.6 mil profit uh, and this is on a really small scale, guys. I could have bought 1 million silver ore and made more like 12 mil off of this. But that's just some perspective here. If you guys have a lot of money ready to flip and you watch the streams, you can make quite a bit of money. Now, this was a really obvious example. I mean, in the stream, they literally said, everybody's going to buy silver. So you might want to look for something a little bit more subtle or even something not set on stream like on the dev blog. Alright. Um, Lol Purifull says, can we change the Tox Medge Cal? Any guesses as to the Stop. Oh, well done. Uh, the obvious staff. <laughs> this is staff. always the question of the staff, you can just guess. <laughs> the obvious staff, uh, can we change the requirement from 60 attack to 60 strength? It's bad, that's all you need to know. Um, Do we have the, that thing in the construction update? Yeah, uh, Mod West showed me what it looks like uh, oh, yesterday. Um, <laughs> so yeah, POH, Superior Garden okay. uses the Obsidian staves and rings in the creation of a fence, which looks actually rather awesome. It would have to, it's gonna make out this up out of those things. So that stream for the Abby staff is what I'm gonna call it. It was on August 5th. The important thing to take away from that conversation was not actually that the Abby staff might have a stat removal because that wasn't for sure. The for sure thing was that the Abby staff was gonna be used in the imminent construction update for player owned houses. 
And of course that update did come into play and the obby staff rose in price. But let's look at the price chart of this weapon. Now August 5th is that stream. Now when the player owned houses update actually came into play, of course the item started to skyrocket. It went up a little bit less than 20k, 15k about. So if you had bought 10 of them, you would have made 150k. 100 of them, 1.5 mil. 1,000 of them, 15 mil. So if you guys are in for the long flips and you want some secured flips, this is a perfect thing to do. Now, I didn't buy the Abby staff because I wasn't paying attention. I watched the stream just for fun. I don't remember which mod it was, but in the construction preview that he had seen, but nobody else had seen, he said, oh yeah, the staff is actually used to create one of the fences or whatever, which it is. And that's a huge hint. And that's the kind of hint where you can make a lot of money. Another important thing to look at is, of course, the amount traded of an item. So this isn't a fluke, guys. How many traded per day are there? Sometimes zero. Generally, it's like less than 10. Then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, an item goes from being traded zero to 15 times a day, all the way to 529 times in one day. That is an insane amount traded increase, which can also be seen as a price increase as well. There's a lot of demand for this item all of a sudden. I hope this video was really interesting to you guys. Thanks for watching guys, leave a like if you found the video interesting or enjoyed it. This type of video takes a lot of planning and consideration over a long period of time. That's about it. Go make some money. Bye.